Afghanistan correspondent Sally Sara joins us on the phone. And Sally, um, can you just take us through then what exactly happened? Well, Andrew, the information that we have uh, so far is that uh, a gunman opened fire, as you said, at the, at the end of a, a routine morning military uh, parade at this base uh, in the southern province of uh, Kandahar. The name of this uh, base is Forward Operating Base uh, Stork Bed, uh, and uh, the, uh, the Australian soldiers uh, were hit uh, when the gunman opened fire. Seven were wounded uh, and three were killed. An Afghan interpreter was also killed. Uh, troops then returned fire and, and the gunman uh, in turn was uh, was shot dead. The wounded Australian soldiers uh, were taken to a military hospital at Kandahar Airfield and are reported to be uh, in a stable condition. Australian and Afghan commanders have now uh, gone to this base uh, to assist in the response and now the investigation is, is underway. Sally, hopefully you're still there. Have uh, Has there been any comment from the Australian forces there on the ground? Have you managed to speak to anyone there? Uh, they're not making uh, uh, on the record uh, comment. Uh, they're involved uh, now in the response uh, to this incident. The commander of the International Security Assistance Force here in Afghanistan, uh, General John Allen, uh, has said that he's been uh, saddened and outraged uh, by the attacks that have uh, taken place in Afghanistan in the past uh, 24 hours. Not only is the attack on the Australians in the south of the country, but uh, also a suicide car bomb attack uh, here in the capital, Kabul, uh, which has killed up to 13 Americans uh, and several Afghan uh, civilians and an Afghan police officer as well. So uh, a deadly day for coalition forces uh, in this country. Sally, uh, have the families been notified, do you know? The, the families of the Australian soldiers uh, have been uh, notified and we're expecting uh, further statements from uh, federal government uh, officials later today, your time. Now, as we mentioned earlier, a suicide bomber has also attacked a bus carrying foreign troops. Uh, 13 American soldiers dead. The 13 Americans uh, were killed in this attack in the southwest uh, of the capital. A suicide attacker uh, driving a vehicle packed with hundreds of kilograms of explosives uh, detonated uh, close to this uh, bus. The blast was extremely powerful and sent uh, uh, thick black smoke uh, up into the sky uh, here in Kabul, it shattered windows uh, you know, of a distance several hundred metres away. That site was uh, uh, sealed off as uh, uh, emergency crews uh, tried to retrieve the, the dead and injured from that site. All right, Sally Sara in uh, Kabul, thanks very much. Thank you.